Alright, so my name is Zach, and for my spring project, I made a cheese ball gun out of a leaf blower. Um, so I, I obviously used a leaf blower and PVC to make this, and my idea behind it was I wanted to work less with electricity and, you know, just kind of work more specifically with my hands and putting things together, not necessarily using soldering or anything. And just to continue my building skills and grow to my knowledge. Um, so technology that I used um, was an instructable, which you can click here if you want to see the link. Um, I will show you here in just a minute the steps kind of took me to build it in the process. And the hardest part was getting the PVC to attach to the leaf blower. So uh, I'll show you my building steps here. To show you the first step that I took in building my um, cheese ball gun, I first had to take the uh, attachment off of the leaf blower as you can see. So there was a thing that just went on right here. Um, so I took that off and I began, I took this little one inch piece of PVC right here and I kind of wedged it in there in between some plastic in, inside and then I duct taped it not only to keep it in there but to also keep it pretty airtight um, so all around here it, it's pretty airtight so no extra air is getting out um, so I plug that in and that'll work and then so coming out of that so like what would be plugged in right here okay, is just this little short piece so that there's some room between the container of cheese balls and the leaf blower um, and then I took this T fitting and on the inside, if you can, if you look, you can see that little white piece. There's a little white piece right here. And so what that helps do is, so as the air is coming in here, instead of some of it going into the can, it just goes straight through. That thing deflects it, and so the air goes down and away, and it keeps going straight. So then I cut a hole in the uh, copper, and it's can't really see in there because it's so dusty from the cheese balls, but it's pretty flush. And I just put a some super glue and hot glue around that to keep that airtight. Taped this on here, and then the last thing I did with this uh, is I took this coat hanger and I bent it so that it can stir up the cheese balls. And there's not many in there right now, but you can see it moves the cheese balls around. And then the last piece to the puzzle is I took this other PVC thing about two feet long. And that just goes on the other end. So when I put it together, it looks like that. And I, won't, I don't want to turn it up because I don't want the cheese balls to play on. Um, you know, with any project that you do over a longer period of time, problem solving is big. Um, things aren't going to go right. You're going to get behind. Um, I'd say that I followed my plan uh, pretty close. Um, in week one, so here, let's take a look at my plan here. You can see in uh, week one here, I had to order my parts, and week two, I had a little bit more that I was, than I was able to do, um, so I kind of got behind in week two, but uh, week three is when I actually got most of my work done and pretty much finished it, which was good because I, I missed class several days in week four, so I didn't really have time to work on it, um, so I adjusted you know, based on that last week, but it also worked out nicely that I was able to get so much done in week three. Um, so now I'll show you a video of me shooting my cheese ball gun. Okay, so general overview of my project. Um, as with any build project, you're going to need to be able to think on your own because whatever schematic you use, it's not going to work exactly for you. That's where the problem solving comes in as well. You have to think, you have to figure things out on, on your own. Uh, if I could redo my project, I would make a better agitator, you know, to get the cheese balls to move a little bit better and maybe keep the air flow a little bit tighter. Um, the biggest success of my project was you know, plugging the leaf blower in and turning it on and the cheese balls firing out. That was 
that was pretty fun for me. I'd, I'd probably say that was when I was probably happiest with my project. So uh, that's all I have for you.